Hi, my name is uh, Georgi Radulov and an operational uh, circuit of uh, uh, oscillator is given and uh, the amplitude is set by these diode limiters and uh, the output is taken from here, not VB, V out. The values of the components are given. And the question asks us about let the setting of the variable resistor R1 is properly chosen for stable sinusoidal oscillations, A sinus omega zero T. If the diodes are simply modeled uh, as ideal switches turned on at 0.7 volts, then what is a good approximation of the amplitude of the oscillations? So what this question asks is if the diodes are simply turned on at voltage of 0.7 volts, so they have a volt ampere characteristic which looks something like this, so this is the volt and this is the current. When the voltage of the diodes becomes 0.7 volts, they are like switches which are turned on. So uh, here they are closed, so off, for all the voltages lower than 0.7 volts, and for all the voltages above 0.7 volts, they are just all switches turned on. So what they do actually is that they short this resistor R2. By shorting the resistor R2, the gain of uh, the uh, oscillator drops and the amplitudes uh, and the um, amplitude of the oscillation decreases. So in this uh, way, the amplitude of the oscillation will be set to the uh, point where the diodes D1 and D2, they are just dynamically on, off, on, off, on, off. So we will use these in order to calculate what the amplitude of the oscillation uh, of the oscillation signal is. And we have to take it from this point. So here we'll have an oscillation like this, stable oscillation with certain amplitude A. And we need to know what this is. So, how to approach uh, the, uh, the problem? Here we have a voltage VA and here it is ground. So let's look at the path from VA to ground, so basically this path here. What we have is two resistors. So this is point VA and then there is the first resistor, which is R2 and there is a second resistor, which is R1. And then there is a ground. All right. We know also the values of these resistors because they are given. So this will be 15K. And R1 is 60. Okay. Now, this is a resistor divider. So this is what we want to know, V out this. Now we know that the diodes will activate when the voltage drop across the diodes becomes uh, become uh, 0.7 volts. So if this is 0.7 volts like this, then uh, the diodes will activate and this will be the level at which the amplitude will be set. So if this is 0.7 volts here, then here it will be uh, then 2.8 volts. Why 2.8 volts? Because here I have a resist the resistor of 15 kilo ohm and there is a current flowing which is common current, the same current for R2 and R1. So this means that the uh, this current creating 0.7 volts for 50 kilo ohm for four times bigger a resistor will create four times bigger voltage drop, which means that this level here must be 2.8 volts from ground to V out will be 2.5, uh, 2.8 uh, volts. And uh, this is a property of the uh, resistor divider. Let's see if there is uh, such an answer. Yes, here it is.
This is a good indication, so the amplitude of the oscillation will be 2.8 volts. Thank you very much for your attention.